Hi! They're just about to have breakfast. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to tell you about his packages. I'm Tetra Brick. <clears throat> I'm just one of the many types of packages around. Some of us are around for a longer period of time. Like that guy it's... over there, for instance. Oh. He's been standing there for almost three weeks, just waiting for that special moment Comme to rise. Comme je dis toujours, hein? C'est quoi la définition d'un bon vin? <laughs> Ça devrait commencer et finir par un sourire. Others are used only for a brief moment, but they are just as happy anyway. Carpe diem! <laughs> What we all have in common is that we can be recycled, that we can become something else once you're done with us. To recycle us is not difficult at all, no, no. We do our job protecting the food until you want to consume it. Then it's up to you to do your job to make sure we end up in the right place, in the recycling bin. Only you can do it, because we can't do it ourselves. So once you have done your part and put us in the carton recycling, well, what happens then? Well, the process is simpler than you might think. We'll use this blender to illustrate how it works. This is actually done on a much larger scale, using large machines in a factory. But the principle is the same. The cottons are mixed with plain water, and this separates the materials that the packages are made of. Most of it's paper. Paper. A small part is plastic. Plastic. And a very small part is aluminum. Aluminum. All these materials are turned into new products, or sometimes energy. Here are some examples of what we can become. Um. Hello again. These new products can be recycled too and become new products again. So, all of us packages can be recycled, but it's up to you to make sure it really happens. So don't wait. Take your chance next time you get it. <laughs> Are you looking skinny? Have you lost weight? <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> flattened, I mean. <laughs> yeah, you did it in ten seconds. Flat.